So today I thought I'd bring you something really different and something you don't see every day, which is a small lower jaw of a little mammal. But this mammal dates back to the time of the dinosaurs. Uh, this dates from the late Cretaceous, 66 million years ago, and would have been a small mammal about the size of a skunk that would have run round, literally run round the feet of dinosaurs like Triceratops and, and T-Rex. In fact, you can see from the image above uh, by the paleo artist RJ Palmer, who's, uh, who's drawn an excellent reconstruction construction of what this animal could have looked like. This is the lower jaw of an extinct mammal called Minuscosus robustus um, and is part of an extinct order of mammals called the multi-tuberculates. The multi-tuberculates as an order of extinct mammals were distinguished by a number of features. One was the, the flat molars, um, which you can see at the back of the jaw, there's two molars there, which had many cusps um, to help for grinding, grinding food up. And then the other distinct feature was the blade, uh, which is on the left-hand side of this jaw, which was a blade-like premolar uh, with serrations all the way down its blade, which was excellent for, for cutting. And that only existed on the, on the lower jaw. These multi-tuberculates, as I said, are completely extinct now, but were very successful from an evolutionary standpoint. They survived for 166 million years um, around the feet of, of dinosaurs that were dominating them at the time. And in fact, they were the longest uh, of any extinct mammal lineage to, to survive, even though they are completely extinct now. This particular specimen was found in the Hell Creek formation um, of the late Cretaceous in Montana uh, in the US. And it was found within what's known as a, a fossil microsite. A fossil microsite is the remnants of an, of an ancient riverbed. So effectively, it's when rivers slow down and they start depositing, particularly in river bends. So stone, gravel, perhaps bone and teeth are all deposited at the same time. And, uh, and what you can find when you dig into these microsites Although you'll never find a fully articulated skeleton of anything, you'll find amazing teeth and bones that have been washed up and deposited in this ancient riverbed. It does make, although this is quite a small specimen, it makes the prep quite difficult because often what you find with microsite fossils is that um, they can be quite fragile, um, they can be missing sections. You don't generally find complete uh, uh, skulls, for example, in these microsites because they've been tumbled around the, the bottom of riverbeds. Um, but what makes it quite difficult is that the conglomerate, the matrix, can be very soft with sandy bits in some places, and then there can be bits of this conglomerate which is as hard as concrete. So in this particular case, I'm using the Paleotech uh, Micro Raptor uh, as, a, as an air pen uh, to really start taking away all of this very tough matrix, which is cemented um, like concrete to the side of this really tiny and fragile jaw. Um, and uh, it, it's quite a difficult process um, and it needs a, a lot of patience because uh, this, this jaw is very fragile, even though the matrix is uh, very solid itself. As usual, I'll put a, um, a list of the tools that I've used in this fossil prep uh, in the description below so you can see uh, all of the details of, of, of those and look them up if you want to. Um, one of the key tools that uh, I use, or this liquid, um, which I'm putting on here, um, is something called Paraloid B72. Um, as the actual bone um, is fairly fragile in these small mammals, uh, what you want to do is make sure that um, you're putting strength back into this fossil. So Paraloid B72 is, which I'm a again applying here um, is diluted with acetone and as the acetone dries off very quickly um, the B72 really fills into all the cracks and crevices and really gives the bone um, some excellent strength um, so that's what this uh, this liquid in again the details are in the um, in the description so uh, with that I think you're about to see the uh, the, the final finished uh, little jawbone and hopefully you've liked this uh, this little video so thanks very much for watching